Tomorrow I leave for Iraq. Iraq? I'm stationed in Baghdad. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing in the military? I, I would have thought you'd had a PhD in particle fucking physics or <laughs> something. <Yeah. laughs> no, I mean, I decided, you know, I'd, I'd join the reserves. That's all. Well, we're doing this incredible play called A Prayer for My Enemy by the amazing Craig Lucas, directed by the incredible Bart Shear, which is just unbelievable group of actors. It's sort of a family drama that's, uh, that, 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 um, that, that crescendos during the 2004 ACLS uh, playoff when Boston broke the curse and beat the Yankees. But that's so much the crust of the earth, you know, um, it has such a deep core. There are two separate stories, uh, one a woman who's, whose mother is dying, uh, is struggling with her grief, and then a family, neighbors, where the son is uh, being sent off to Iraq. The two stories eventually uh, crisscross and uh, collide. I think it's a sort of a universal family, especially in America. I think almost everybody I know who's seen the play comes backstage and says, oh my gosh, that was my mother, that was my dad, that was my... So everybody, in a way, I think understands and gets it. The repression, the things that aren't said. I think we're struggling through what a lot of Americans are dealing with right now, which is the return of some of our soldiers. and I, um, for them, it's it's uh, coming back to a reality that they don't recognize. Often American plays are about upper class families, and American playgoers are upper class. And in this case, they're lower middle class and even working class, and they're struggling the way a lot of families are struggling, and they're losing their son to the war because it's the best way for him to go. And it's a world we don't often, theater goers don't always know about. So often plays or movies or televisions or even uh, fiction, uh, you know, narrative fiction, gives you sort of somebody to stand behind that's safe to, from, from, uh, from whose point of view to witness the proceedings. And this play sort of takes that away from you. You know, you sort of think you can choose that person and so you go and stand behind them and identify with them for a while and then suddenly they're losing their way and being horrible and you sort of step away from them and go, oh my god, I didn't think that's who you were. I like how emotional it is, I like how political it is, I like how uncharted it is, and it's just Craig, like he doesn't try to, to say anything other than what he wants to say from his heart, so he's not trying to, uh, to please anyone other than himself. A lot of times with plays I find that you can, you can find your own way through the dialogue, uh, making it natural for yourself, but more often than not in Craig's writing, it's built in for you, and you can try to just go ahead, and uh, and it's so rich and so deep that all the emotion kind of comes with it. I also love that we're trying to put together people from the musical theater and the, and the uh, non-musical theater, because I love the actors in both worlds. So to have Jonathan Groff and Vicki Clark and Michelle Park uh, alongside Skip Sutta, you know, it's been really wonderful to have them all there. They've been great. It's like uh, it's like an acting class every day in rehearsal and every day on stage. It's been uh, really, really amazing. I think there are so many different stories going on that everyone responds to a different one. You know, some people respond to the relationship between Billy and Tad. Some people respond to the relationship between Billy and his father, Austin. Some people respond mostly to, to the war. You know, the dynamic that Iraq plays in the play. Uh, and I, I haven't gotten the same reaction twice. Well, they seem to pay a lot of attention, so that's always nice, because they don't always do that at my place. <laughs> because of Craig Lucas and Bart Scher, of course, who wouldn't want to be in the room with that? And Tim Sanford, who runs Playwrights, has done such a beautiful job. It's a nurturing family. It's a really, if you're not going to make any money, it's the best place to be. <laughs>